It began with a downhill ride on Hobart's Mount Wellington in chilly conditions. From there, the final day of the 350-kilometre Mark Webber Challenge got hotter and harder. The 80 competitors covered 50 kilometres on the mountain and Hobart surrounds. There was orienteering, mountain biking and running. The final leg was a paddle on the River Derwent before a short dash to the finish. Victorians Jared Kohler and James Preto had a convincing win more than an hour ahead of their rivals. It's super exciting, I'm speechless essentially. Uh, just really happy with how we went, it was a really perfect race. It's really awesome to come down to Tassie and race around some beautiful country. It's probably one of my favourite areas of, of Australia and, um, you know, to have a win. New Zealand duo Richard Usher and Braden Curry took out second, followed by locals Mark Paget and Mark Hinder. For the not-so-extreme athletes, there was the Mark Webber Adventure Run. The 6.5 kilometre event looped around Hobart's waterfront and the domain. Hobart's Chris Sullivan won the race, with Ruth Wilson the first female across the line. Organisers were pleased with the record fields and say the challenge couldn't get any bigger. It can change very fast, you know, with the weather. So that's enough for us to have on the field in terms of safety perspective and, and just having the you know, exclusive element, I suppose, to it. While these athletes take a well-deserved rest, race officials are already planning next year's challenge and the state's wild west coast is set to feature. Tamara Glumak, ABC News.